to my channel. I've got kind of like a let's play preparation video for you today. So I have filled out Newcrest in The Sims 4 with a whole bunch of lots and all my family for the let's play that we're going to start as soon as the new pack comes out in literally like eight days. I'm so excited. Um, it's going to be amazing. So I built out the family that we're going to be playing with and kind of their immediate family. So some extended family for us to play with as well. And then I gave them all houses and I put community lots down and everything and it's super cute. So we can dive right into it and I can show you how everything's looking and give you a little meet the fam tour um, for this video. Okay, so here we have my renovated new crest. It's, uh, she's beautiful. I did not make literally anything here. I got everything off the gallery and I very much appreciate everyone who built these lots because they are gorgeous, beautiful, amazing. My plan was to put everyone's name in the description box below of who created all these lots. And then after I put them all down, I realized I did not save them. So I didn't have anyone's names. So they are, they're unnamed, but they're beautiful and they're incredible. And you guys are amazing. If you recognize one of your lots on here, let me know because you deserve a shout out. You did amazing and I'm very happy for you because you've made my life literally 10,000 times easier by doing what you do. So thank you, you're, you're incredible. So I thought we'd start off by talking about the family. Uh, we've got the family here and their significant others and kind of a, a very small version of our extended family. So I think we'll start there. Let's start with our main Sims, shall we? Okay, so these are the Sims we are starting out with, and they, they're cute. These are Sims that I made. I did not get these ones off the gallery. I did make all of the main Sims um, and their family members and stuff. So this is who will be the mom in our Generations Challenge here. Her name is Mary Watson. Um, she, they're currently young adults. They just got married, so they're kind of about to start their lives together. So I'll kind of go through all her little outfits and everything. This is her everyday look. She is, I went for it with the 90s and honestly it was pretty hard because I don't have any like 90s stuff. So I had to work with the packs and stuff that I did have. I will say the high school pack really, really came through on this one. It really did because the high school pack outfits are very much giving like throwback 90s vibes. So amazing. So this is her everyday outfit. For formal wear, we've got a long dress. Honestly, I don't anticipate using this very much, so I'm not super worried about it. Just a casual little outfit for the athletic wear. Sleepwear, we got this little floral print with just the, the slack bottoms for the pants and then some slippers. This is her party wear. We've got the fun socks and the white sneaks and the little dress with the little frilled edge top. It's, it's very cute. Swimwear, just a classic bikini <laughs> and then for hot weather we've got the nice denim skirt with the crop top the bucket hat of course has to be there and then these these bad boys the shoes I mean come on it's a classic and then cold weather is just sweater with like a collared shirt underneath I don't know there wasn't a whole lot of good options for the cold weather wear so this is Mary's outfits now her aspiration is she wants to be neighborhood confidant so she wants to be a good neighbor and make friends with all her neighbors and be the one that is kind of in the know of all the tea and stuff but also she wants that popularity right she wants to be the neighborhood person she's cheerful she is loyal and she's family oriented i'm thinking for her career i'm going to make her be a teacher so that's going to be where she starts out with so that is mary she's going to be the mom and then we've got michael here who is going to be the dad and then he has got his outfit on here I actually gave him a second everyday look because I couldn't decide. So this is his second everyday outfit. Again, the high school pack really came through here. It was amazing. So he's got this, his formal wear, just a suit. I went with the browns, all the brown suits for this era. And then we've got, you know, long shorts with a little like sleeveless hoodie for the workout gear. Of course, we've got plaid pajamas. For party wear, we've got like a rocker look going on here. <laughs> and then really long board shorts for swimwear. For hot weather, we've got this like polo with the weird, you know, different color and it's like also brown for some reason. And then of course we've got cargo shorts. 
And then for cold weather, we've got just a plaid, a plaid top. I feel like plaid was like very much a thing in the 90s. Like we, like plaid was, it was it. Also, I'm realizing his hot weather, he's like got a nose ring for some reason. So maybe let's like take that off. You don't have a nose ring any other time. So that's Michael's outfits. And then his aspiration is he wants to be a musical genius. So he is gonna be a guitar player. His dream is he wants to be in like a rock band, right? Cause he's into like the nineties grunge scene. He's like here to be playing music. He wants to be like a rock star, but he also is family oriented. He's a party sim, he's a party animal, but he wants a family as well. So my plan for him is I'm gonna give him like a basic career. I'm gonna make him a salary person or something, just like a basic ass job. And then on the side, he's gonna be doing like music stuff and like playing gigs and like getting tips and stuff and like having a band and stuff. So that's my plan for Michael. He really wants to be, he wants to be a rock star, but he's just doing the daily life for now until he makes it big. So we'll see how, how life turns out for him. Okay, so these are our main sims, and then let me show you their families as well. I'm not gonna dive deep into the families like outfits or anything, cause it's gonna take forever, but I will show you their little houses and everything I set up for them. So it's, it's gonna be cute. Just know that I did give them full outfits for all of their outfits. So we're gonna start over here. Okay, so this is the Watson family. This is their home here. I did get this right off the gallery, so amazing job. It's really cute, I love it. This, these are Mary's parents and her little brother. And then she does have a sister as well, which I will show you, but her sister has also moved out, so it's not living here anymore. But this is like the family home for the Watson family. So this is where, this is like her childhood home where everyone grew up and everything. So we've got Elizabeth Watson here. She is the mom. Her aspiration is she wants a big happy family. So she's, she's already living the dream because she's already kind of has that. <laughs> And then dad here, this is George. He doesn't look happy, but he is, I promise. He's fine. Um, he wants a successful lineage for his family so that he, they both have just like family aspirations. I decided to make their family kind of just like a all about family <laughs> style family. And then little brother here, he wants to be a genius. His name is Christopher. Um, and he, he wants to, he's just real smart. He's just a smart kid. So let me show you their little house, which again, I did not build, but I am obsessed with. So I will show you it. I looked up like 90s houses on the gallery. So this is what we've got. So we've got a living room over here, nice little dining room. They've got a classic little kitchen with the linoleum floor, of course. No shortage of brown carpet in this house as well. And then they've got like a fake little garage with their Christmas tree and everything is in here. Laundry room. There's a little playroom with a fireplace in here. And then we've got a little like sunroom out the back. And then bedrooms are all upstairs. It is kind of fit for like a toddler and stuff. I, I like didn't edit anything. I was just like, okay, we're putting this down. So <laughs> it will, it's fine. We'll just ignore it, not worry about it. So the upstairs, we got a bathroom. We got the master bedroom with its own little bathroom over here. And then some kids rooms on the side here. So this is their little house. And then they also have a nice big backyard as well with a back deck and swing sets, little toddler pool, all the works. So this house is like incredibly cute. And I love like the, the basketball goal in the driveway. It's such a classic, I love it. So these are gonna be like the grandparents for the kids that we have in our little series. And then I guess Christopher here is gonna be like an uncle. Um, Christopher and Mary get along really well. They have like a jokester kind of relationship. So he's like a lot younger than his siblings. So he's kind of like the little like jokester of the family and Mary really gets him and they're like, they're pretty close. And then um, Mary also has a close relationship with both of her parents as well. So really like happy little family here. Um, she does have a sister as well, but I'll take you to her name is Claire. And Claire is not not so much in touch with her family. Um, Claire and Mary have kind of a rocky, like tense relationship cause they're just like, they're twins, um, I should mention. So I don't know, they just, they aren't really, they don't really mesh super well. They're just kind of like, they're not feeling it. So they have a little bit of like a tense relationship, but it's okay, maybe they can repair it over time. Um, all the families here, everyone grew up in Newcrest, so the main families are gonna live in Newcrest. And I did put like a bunch of community lots and stuff as well that we can go to that are kind of dressed up for our little theme. So our family, they are moving out of Newcrest after growing up there and meeting there, falling in love there, everything like that. They're moving out of Newcrest and they are going to San Sequoia, which they think is just gonna be the perfect place to raise a family. So that's kind of their, their big plans. So we'll go check in on Claire, who is Mary's sister. 
she also recently got married. Like I said, they're twins, so they kind of have grown up together at the same time and everything like that. Okay, so this is the Burks family. They, so we've got Claire Watson, who just got married here to Isaac, and they are happily loved. They're happily married. They just got married, and they just moved into this little small home um, where they're gonna raise, start raising their family, maybe, depending on if they decide to have kids, we're gonna have neighborhood stories on. So this is their little, little household. Let me actually change them into like their main outfits for you. Okay, so here's Claire, and then here's Isaac. Claire wants to be a painter, so she has big plans for her painting career. She's like very artsy, she loves, you know, doing art and going to like art galleries and all that good stuff, just admiring everything, and she just, she's a really good painter, a really good artist, so that's her aspiration for life. And then Isaac, he's super smart, and he wants to be a computer whiz. He's heard about these new Bengal Technologies computers, and he is ready to just dive in on that from the ground floor and just be part of technology advancing. So that is his plan for his career. They've got a cute little house here, again, straight off the gallery. So here we go, I'll show it to you. So kind of the front door, they've got a little living room over here. There's kind of an entry hallway type situation. And then we've got a little kitchen over here. We've got a living room with a big old giant TV. And then we've got just a small little bedroom here for the two of them. And then a little small office, um, no computer, because they don't own that right now um but it's probably something that will happen because isaac is going to be working in the computer field and then they've just got a small little bathroom and a little small backyard out here as well for them to hang out in so they have a pretty small it's just a little starter home they may move eventually when they have kids and stuff like that but for now this is where they're hanging out so this is the burks and like i said we don't have a very close relationship with claire claire and mary are a little tense they might be able to you know repair their relationship a little bit later but right now it's just it's just a little rocky and that's okay maybe we can fix it okay so that is claire's family now i'm going to show you michael's family the dunbars okay so these are the dunbars um mom and dad here's so we've got gabriella and we've got hector now gabriella is extremely angry right now so i don't really know what's bothering her um she's irrational hatred for the sun is her is her main thing right now. She is a high maintenance sim, so <laughs> that is why. Um, but this is Gabriella. She's she's a little upset. Um, and then Hector back here is the Dunmore family. So these are Michael's parents, and they will be grandparents as well. Now Gabriella, she has an aspiration for self care, so she's gotten big into like wellness, and she wants to share the word about wellness to everyone. So she's got a self care aspiration, and she wants to help others as well. And then we've got Hector here. He is wanting to be a really good cook. So he is already a good cook, but he wants to be like a master chef. That's his aspiration. So they're looking to make it big in life, okay? They want a five-star chef, a wellness place. It's gonna be great. So this is their home. Now I will say Gabriella and Mary, they don't have a super close relationship. Gabriella, like I said, she's a high maintenance sim. She thinks that her son could have done better. And because of that, it's led to a little bit of a tense relationship between her and Mary so it's a little tough right now but maybe you know as things progress and they have kids and stuff like we know she's gonna be a great grandma but like she just you know she's gonna have to learn to accept her daughter-in-law for who she is you know what I mean whereas Hector he's super sweet he's ready to be a really good father-in-law and just live live the life it's just you know Gabriella she's a little high maintenance and it is what it is so let me take you on a tour of their house as well. Another one off the gallery. So walking in, we've got a small entry here and then there is a little dining room. They've got a nice living room. Um, no TV for them, None, no TV. Um, and then they've got a kitchen here and then a little like laundry room off the garage and there's a little workshop room back here. Nice big backyard, lots of space for kids to hang out. They've got a little patio table. Everything's nice out here in the back. And then going upstairs is where all the bedrooms are. So we do have a kid's bedroom and another bedroom over here that's also like a kid's bedroom. There is a little TV in this room um, and a really old school looking computer too. And then we've got the parents' bedroom over here and they've got a little bathroom and everything. There's a kid's bathroom over here too. So it is a beautiful little just 90s style house uh, family home. So this is the family home for 
Michael, and he also has a sister, and I'm gonna take you to her next. Okay, so this is Jenna Dunbar. So this is Michael's sister. She is slightly younger, um, so she's, I was originally gonna make her a teen, but then I decided no, because I wanted her to move out and have a family and stuff too. So she's a young adult as well, but she is a little bit younger than Michael is. And then this is her wife, Alina Palm. I did not make the sim, I got her off the gallery. So I, I at the last second made the decision that she was gonna have a wife as well. So she's here, she's off the gallery. Um, so they are just moving into their house here as well. And they are happily married. Now, Jenna and her brother do have a very close relationship. They have been besties since they were kids. They have always loved each other. So they are a really close family uh, with each other. And they have a little bit of a tense relationship with their mom, but she's just, it's because she's high maintenance. You know, Gabriella, she's hard to please. She really is. Um, but their dad is super loving. They both love their dad. So very close relationships there between the three of them. And then Michael and Mary, they also love Alina, the wife. She is super sweet and they are ready to start a family as well. Now, because it is the Sims, I did make it to where they can have kids. So there will be cousins coming from this family as well. We're doing what we want. And what we want is to have a big happy family with cousins. So that's the plan. So let me show you their house as well, another one off the gallery. So we've got a little walk-in room here. There's a small little sitting room in here, office with a small little computer and then a bathroom off of that. And then they do have like a living room here as well with a big old giant TV. <laughs> I do love this bay window too. And then a nice little fireplace with some chairs in the kitchen here it's a nice really really big kitchen with a little like eating area here as well like so many counters so much counter space so someone is cooking in here for sure and then upstairs we have a small little bedroom here with a bathroom off of it and then we've got parents bedroom here with another small little tv little sitting area and then over here in the corner we've got what looks to be like a kids room too so we've got a little shared bedroom here for two kids it looks like so when the kids come there will be plenty of space for everyone so cute little house here as well now i should tell you aspirations so jenna she wants to work with animals she loves animals she always has so she wants to be her aspiration is to be a friend of the animals and then we've got alina here and she wants to be a leader of the pack which i might change because the clubs are weird i don't know i don't know i don't know if that's what i want but for now she wants that popularity she wants to be a leader of the pack she wants to have her have her clubs i guess and, but you know what i feel like clubs could be a good thing for our gameplay here so maybe we will maybe we'll roll with that she wants to be a leader of the pack so i don't know how much i'm gonna be like actively playing with the family members so they may be able to do their aspirations they may not i'm not sure but we'll we'll see we'll find out okay now that i've showed you like all the main family members and their houses and everything let me just show you a little bit what else i did with newcrest here so i made kind of like a area over here for like going out um, and community lots and stuff so we've got a restaurant here um there's a little shopping avenue that was built so it's like retail stores here there's obviously a park in this big lot and then i also downloaded this like bowling alley slash arcade place that will be super fun for going out and we've got a karaoke bar here as well and then i did add a few extra families just to kind of round out the world so it wasn't like literally just our family living in this neighborhood so there's the matthews family over here they've got a couple kids and then we've got the crows family the mom is called cheryl it's true also off the gallery and then we've got they've got a bunch of kids they've got a dog so they're a big old family and then we've got the jones family over here they've got kids as well and then the miller family here so a bunch of just 90s little families to fill out the world here okay so that is the built out new crest i hope that you enjoyed it Again, thank you so much to everyone who like built houses in general and put them on the gallery and made them 90s themed because you literally saved my life. I like, it would have took me hours and hours and hours to build all of these houses and all these things. So you guys are amazing. Thank goodness for you and for the gallery. And I appreciate you so, so much. Um, if you're as excited as me to start this Let's Play, then please don't forget to like and subscribe and all those fun things. So I can be even more excited to play it for you because it's gonna be great. The new pack comes out in literally eight days and we are going to dive right into it. So I will hold off on The Sims for now. As soon as it comes out, you know we're going to be filming. You know we're going to have a video coming out so we can start playing with this family because I'm literally so excited. So I will see you guys there when the pack comes out and that will be the next one. Bye.